Do you want a tuna? Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. This is Charlie from Harbinger. Hello. Today, we are looking at the 1111 plugin from Otto Audio. I don't do what Charlie does, so that's why I got Charlie in to do this because he's gonna do an awesome job at playing some metal stuff. Because if I tried to do what Charlie was doing, I'd just get comments saying, you can't play metal. They might still say that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not, this is awesome, it's awesome. So today we're looking at this plugin uh, called 1111 from Otto Audio. Now this is what Otto Audio describe as the heaviest amp plugin out there. Now, probably the first thing that you would do when you load up an amp sim like this is to have a look at some of the presets. So let's do that. Let's have a look at some of the amp match ones. Let's start with, uh, let's start from the top. I love the way that you can resize the plugin window here. If we click in the middle of the amp on the plugin, we can move to the rear side of it where we get more controls. Over here, we've got our impedance curves and we can push these up and down by clicking on these arrows here or actually choosing the impedance curve by clicking in the middle. On the other side as well, we've got our IR selection. So we've got the choice of 22 different cabinets. You can switch these cabinets off and load in your own IRs if you're gonna be using a third party IR loader. Awesome. So you can hear you can get a wide variety of different tones. And to be honest, I mean, that's where I find the majority of sound or the change of sounds come from when you're, you know, when you're using an amp like this is changing all the different type of speakers. Yeah. 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 There's like, it's, it's kind of like adding, well, it's adding like an EQ curve, isn't it? To, yeah. to the, to what you've already done to the amp uh, to kind of, like, I always see it as like the next stage to, to getting the tone that you're, you're looking for. If I click on the middle, we go to the rear of the amp. Now let's work from left to right. We've got a mod section here. This changes the tone of the amp. It's quite a subtle thing, but it does make a difference, especially if you're using decent speakers. So it's a bit more sort of presence forward with the mod in. Also sounds a little bit scooped when you switch to the the purple but the per when it's on the purple, purple yeah, one, yeah it's a bit sounds a bit more scoop very very subtle it is maybe. subtle isn't yeah, it yeah yeah it is subtle it is subtle yeah. we've got a noise gate and we can turn it up by 10 db add some extra low and push the punish button let's engage the punish button charlie play something for me
Now we can change our power tube section here, which I think is a really nice feature from EL34s, 6L6s to KT88s. The EL34 will be more of your sort of Marshall style flavor, 6L6. I'm guessing on more of a high gain amp, you can think of that more like a Mezabuka dual rectifier. And the KT88s, you can think of that as the bigger Marshall stuff. And that's gonna add a lot more bottom end. We've got a bias control, sag, feedback and snarl, and that can be turned on and off here with the power amp section. Amplitude, you can think of that as your overall volume. And again, like you can on the front, you can actually choose your different cabinets and change the resonance for each cabinet. We can click here and we can choose all these different presets that have been programmed by Otto Audio. But what we've got next to it is this foundation section. Now we can change the sort of foundation of the actual tone. It makes a massive difference just by changing all of these. Now, last of all, we've got the resonance on the different cabs. Because we're using a mono to stereo version of this plugin, it's adding this amount of stereo width to it. So, Charlie, if you can play along and I'll change it to mono. Now I'm gonna go through some of the patches as well and let's see how it copes with less of a metal sort of sound and more with a sort of classic rock but still with a bit of gain on it. Let's use the amp match presets and let's try 5150 solo. <laughs> Let's see how it does sort of classic Marshall sort of sounds as well. So let's click on a preset. Let's use the amp match presets again. And let's use this boosted Marshall preset or boosted Mars as they call it. That definitely sounds like more of those sort of high gain throaty sort of sounds that Charlie was playing through. Let's see what we can do to the settings on this to make it more what I would normally use it for. Right, I'm gonna bring back the treble. And the presence. And let's bring the depth all the way back. So we've tried it with humbuckers. Let's see how it copes with single coils. And I've picked up my telly and I'd like to try some of the clean sounds on this. So let's see what we've got. Let's go to uh, let's go to the first one, which is clean. Let's see if we can get it on that sort of clean on the verge of breakup sort of sound.
it cleans up really, really nicely, and that's a great clean sound. Let's see what else we've got. And let's have a look at one more. Let's try this glassy clean. Let's turn the gain up just a little bit. I think that patch would work really well with the shimmer reverb. So let me load in a shimmer reverb into my inserts in my DAW. Now let's try some single chords with some gain. If you go to the Otto Audio website, you can actually download a 14 day full free demo of this. You've got plenty of time to try it out to see if it works for you. But it's a really versatile amp. It does all of that sort of really high gain stuff and it sounds great clean and with single coils as well. This is a sponsored video, but what Otto Audio are gonna do for us is that they're gonna offer a 50% discount on anyone that wants to buy this. And all you've gotta do is to put RAT50 in the discount code in the checkout, but I'll also include that in the notes. So there it is. There is 1111 from Otto Audio. Charlie, what do you think? Yeah, great. Great plugin. Like lots to play around with. And, uh, you know, it's super easy to get something for all rock and metal applications, really. But the question is, is it the heaviest amp sim you've ever heard? It's pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Apps. This is Charlie from Harbinger. Really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time.